Hi guys, I was given this hack 35 years ago by my big band teacher. I want to pass it on now because it's so cool. Cheers! Warning! In order to understand the video that follows and avoid any confusion, it is necessary to know that in music theory, one tone equals two semitones and a minor third is the same as three semitones. Got it? So, imagine a house. There are three floors. On the middle floor lives a piano. And on the floor above lives a trumpet. When the trumpet plays a C, the piano needs to play a B flat to produce the same note. And that is why the trumpet is called a B flat trumpet. Because when the trumpet plays the C, it's B flat on the piano. So the piano is a tone lower than the trumpet. Or another way to think of this is that the trumpet transposes a tone higher than the piano. That's why it's handy to visualize it above the piano. So if the piano plays a C, the trumpet will need to finger and play a tone higher, D, to produce the same pitch. Everything okay so far? Let's just go through this again, shall we? So just think of a house. C instruments on the middle floor, like guitar. Also flute plays in C. And of course piano. And the B flat instruments are above, like tenor sax. Trumpet that we heard before, and B-flat clarinet. The top floor instruments are a tone higher than the C instruments. Or another way to think of it is that the C instruments are a tone lower than the trumpet, tenor and clarinet. Now let's add in an alto sax into the ground floor. This alto player is below the piano. Now, when alto chappi or chapes plays a C on his or her instrument, the piano plays an E flat, a minor third above, which is three semitones. That is why it is called an E flat alto saxophone. This alto sax is a minor third below the piano. That is why it is located below the piano on the ground floor. By the way, if the flute plays E flat, what will the trumpet need to play? Yes, a tone higher, F. Okay so far? Now, let's look at this gap. What does the alto sax need to play if the flute plays a C? Answer, it needs to play a minor third below. And so what is a minor third below C? Yes, it's A. By the way, this interval relationship is the same between the major and minor. C major's relative minor A minor is built on its sixth degree, which can be also thought of as a minor third below. Now what about when the guitar plays, for instance, B flat? The alto sax will need to play a minor third below, which is, that's right, G. So that's the E flat transposing hack. There's one small caveat. The alto sax actually to sound the same exact pitch as the piano needs to play a major six higher, not a minor third below. Otherwise, it will sound an octave too low. The minor third was shown in the hack as it's simpler to go down a minor third and then just bump up the note an octave. By the way, if you are benefiting from this video, perhaps you will consider supporting the creation of similar presentations in the future. It helps to keep the lights on you see down here in South America. To do this, please visit the Jazz Duets Patreon page. If you are experiencing any mental fatigue or FUD, take a rest before proceeding, as we have already done quite a lot. So let's practice some more now, shall we? Let's first add in another ground floor instrument, the baritone sax. Which is also in the E flat, but sounds an octave lower than the E flat out of sax, as it is pretty much twice the size. Now, if the B flat lads or ladesses on the top floor play B flat on their instruments, what do the other instruments play? Well, the C players play a tone lower, A flat. And the alto and baritone saxes in E flat play a minor third below this A flat of the piano. A minor third below A flat is what? Yes, three semitones, F. Now, if the E flat saxes, on the other hand, play an E flat, the C players, the flute, guitar, and piano, will need to play a minor third above this E flat, which is what? A minor third above E flat is G flat. And the B flat people? They will need to play what? A tone above G flat. That's right, A flat. 
In part two, we will look at the hacks to facilitate site transposition of some simple melodies and revise and practice what we have seen in this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.